Welcome back to my channel. My name is Gina Blue, and if you're new to my channel, welcome. I survived a black separatist hate group and religious destructive cult called Israel United in Christ, otherwise known as IUIC. In this video, I expose their beard shaming, so let's get right into it. So this is the infamous Laws for Men in IUIC's infamous Welcome Home Packet. So these are the scriptures that they misinterpret and take out of context to make men feel bad for not having a beard, for not having a full beard, for not being able to grow a beard. Basically they call them punks, they degrade them saying they're not a man, they're not manly, they're feminine and they use these scriptures to justify it. So this is what the men, a little bit of what the men go through. They don't go through as much as the women, but they still are abused nonetheless. Men with beards, men with beards, men with beards. IUIC loves men with beards. And it's just a point of obsession that it's like a red flag to me. It's okay to want a healthy beard and want to prefer to have hair on your face, but when you start making it a law, meaning that IUIC tells the men if they don't have a beard, basically God will kill them because they're not following the Bible. And when you start doing stuff like that, that starts, that starts a lot of rumors. That can start a lot of rumors. Why are you so concerned with another man's face? Why are you so concerned whether a man shaves his face or not. And look at this meme on the left. If your job tells you to shave, oh, wait, I thought you didn't work for the white man. I thought white man was evil, so hold on, let's read this. If your job tells you to shave, tell them it's against your religion. What religion? I thought being a black Hebrew Israelite wasn't a religion. I thought being an Israelite wasn't a religion, are you, I see, what, what? is it what is it really with you guys it's always yes and no right and wrong pick one what is it okay if they ask what religion say god's laws and they will fire you right after go ahead and listen to iuic you'll be jobless homeless and without a family or friends false expectations for men so on the left this is what IUIC expects all men to look like essentially or at least they think they look like this when they have a full beard okay on the right this is reality a lot of men do not have full beards they don't have healthy beards some have patchy hair whatever genetics they were born with that's what they have but IUIC like to poke fun at these type of men who have patchy beards or who can't like grow a beard or who, who genetically just can't even grow facial hair. They will make fun of them, poke fun of them. Everything's always in a form of a joke. Everything's always in a form of a joke and using Bible scriptures in the joke too. So this is just something that y'all should pay attention to when you see IUIC. With a great beard comes great responsibility. Y'all so original. Y'all are so original. With a great beard comes great responsibility. I never knew facial hair can make you have great responsibility just by having facial hair. Wow. Sound familiar. Hmm. Hmm, where have we heard that from, y'all? Hmm. So this is the scripture IUIC used to justify men having or requiring to have a beard. And this scripture in particular is the one that states not to mar your beard. They obviously do not know the definition of mar because they tell their members that mar means shade. If you look up the word mar in any reputable dictionary, the word mar means to disfigure, okay, or destroy. Disfigure and destroy and shaving are two different things. 
So look that up for yourself because that's exactly what they tell their members. And I just want to take a moment to thank God for this gorgeous man right here. Um, this has nothing to do with the video, but I figure why not, ladies? Let's let's just let's just take a moment to admire this handsome king right here while I go ahead and finish off this video. So if you want to tell your story, remember to reach me at speak up at survivors of religious abuse.org. Speak up at survivors of religious abuse.org. You can also check out my story on survivors of religious abuse.org. And if you want to be a survivor, a supporter, please, please, please don't hesitate to donate if you care and check out the BBC documentary, The Murder of Joy Morgan. I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace.